Mm. We have Staten Island talent. We have Staten Island hosts. Um, it's all good. Well, we We're got a great really band well. tonight. Mm -hmm. They actually finally made it. <laughs> they're, they're bus Even us a little stressed here tonight, but we're here. Nah, nah, they're cool. They're, their bus broke down on the way here, but they're here. Mm -hmm. A great band, uh, originally from the Bronx. So worth it, though. They're from Staten Island now. They're called Urban Snake. Mm -hmm. So, and uh, we got three actors tonight, oh, right? Oh, we have some really cool actors here tonight. We have uh, we have Gaetano Iacano. Uh, we also have Frank Albanese from The Sopranos and Goodfellas. And we have um, Joe Barry here with us tonight. He's an actor, and he does commercials and... Uh, He's he's doing he's working on a show right now and he's also doing a play. Yeah. So um, I think we should bring them all on out. That's it. So uh, our first guest for the night, Joe Barry. Joe Barry. Hey guys. How Joe. are you? How are you? Nice to meet you, Joe. Same here, absolutely. Hey, you look really familiar. Good to see you. Wait, wait. First things first. <laughs> yeah, yeah, bless him. You gotta get blessed. <laughs> oh, thanks. Wait, there you go. Bless him up. Thank you. You're welcome. Straight from the Yankee <laughs> Stadium. You look really familiar. Now, if I'm not mistaken. You were playing an alien on a commercial. Yeah, for United uh, Airlines. United Airlines, okay, I right. knew I remember it. Well, tell me all about it, please. Well, there was about four or five little people dressed up in alien costumes. Mm -hmm. You couldn't figure out who we were. We all had big heads, three eyes, big mouth. We were, we were glued into these costumes for eight hours at a time. Mm -hmm. uh, it what was showed, the point of the commercial? It was about a little girl that never shut up during the <laughs> during the air, airline flight. <laughs> it was one of the commercials for the big football games and the you know the playoffs and stuff. Nice. And so I know you're working on a Broadway show right now or off Broadway. Well, it's way off Broadway. Uh -huh. It's uh, called Accomplice, and actually there's two of them. And okay. I, I take care. Of, I'm in the one that takes care of uh, the west co the west side. We're in the village, the west the west village. Okay. And there's another one that plays down by the Brooklyn Bridge. And what it is, the audience travels from location to location, and they got to figure out the plot of the play as they go along. There's all clues and oh, stuff. Oh, really? That yeah. And, like, the, like the game, Clue, right? Like right, something like that. I mean, like it's that. not no danger involved, uh -huh. but it's just that they got to figure out the theme of the play. Nobody gets as they whacked? Go along. No. <laughs> well, me and Joe Barry, we met a long time ago <laughs> through a, a mutual friend of ours, actually uh, one of our fellow CTV producers called Frankie Waters. Oh, right? yeah, absolutely. God bless his soul. He died yeah, a couple Frank of years ago. Yeah, Frank was a good man. And uh, he used to run the Frankie Waters Variety Hour. And actually, he was the first guy to put me on TV. And he introduced me to you when I worked on the show, and, and that's how we became friends. Yeah. And then you went up knowing my father. Yeah, I worked for your father for a while. Mm -hmm. uh, my father knew him through the fire department. My father was on a job for 25 years, mm -hmm. and they knew each other from, you know, working at different firehouses yeah. together. Well, tell us what else you've been doing in your time and uh, what's been going on. Well, I was doing pretty good. I was doing stunt work. You ever see a movie called The Royal Tenenbaums? Yeah, yeah, I remember that. If you see the kids hanging on the back of the garbage truck, I'm the kid on the right. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have to try to show that. And uh, I was doing pretty good, keeping busy all the time up until 2001 when I went for some blood work. Mm. My doctor sent me for and they told me, your kidneys are failing. So by August of 2002, my kidneys failed. Mm -hmm. I was on dialysis. Oh my gosh. And then March the following year, I fell down a double flight of stairs and broke my femur. Dang. And your bones get brittle from being on dialysis. That's mm -hmm. what well, happens. Here now, well, God healthy. has you here God for bless. some good reason. Oh, there's you know. a whole lot more to that story besides. Did you have a transplant or two? Yeah, yeah, actually the same year, a month, a week before Christmas, I fell out of bed and broke my shoulder. Oh my God. And then the Easter following that, I twisted my foot. I thought it twisted. I walked around for two, two weeks with a broken foot until I went to the doctor. Jesus oh. Christ. It's well, all from being on dialysis and stuff. Right. And then the same year, I got a, a, kidney, a kidney transplant. I got that from my stepnephew. I know the kid since mm -hmm. he's about four or five years old. Mm -hmm. So I got a 36 year old kidney in me. And then 10 months after that, I got a pancreas transplant everything's working great no more diabetes i haven't taken an insulin shop in f three years thank god it's going thank great god. yeah thank you yeah and we're really happy to have you here I tell oh, you, absolutely you're a man that has his plate full you know forget about it but god bless you you're here mm -hmm. and i got a new tv show coming out i got a call a month after i had the kidney transplant and a producer from nashville tennessee called me and he's starting a new country variety talk show mm -hmm. And T.G. Shepard is the host of the show, and I'm playing the sidekick. Right, cool. Wonderful. And it's going to be playing on satellite TV, on RFD TV, uh -huh. 
and it should be sometime before the end of the year. Perfect. And that's going to be on your MySpace? You can advertise that? Well, it's on my website. It's well, not actually, on MySpace. Actually, what? Joe Barry is the only active I know that has 50 letters in his website. It's <laughs> <laughs> because you haven't seen mine. The best way to get in touch <laughs> with kidding. Joe is to Google and Google his name, Joe Barry. Joe it'll, Barry. it'll give you everything and everything, even more than he knows about that's on there. Uh, Google's the way to go. Yeah. But we're going to set you up with a MySpace free of charge this week on cool. the house for me, I promise you. Thanks a lot. So, but you got a clip that you want to show, right? Uh, they couldn't get it to work on no, the machine. No, but we're going to edit I'll, it in. But what I'll do you want to show? It's uh, the pilot show. It's the uh, pilot show that they would uh, with uh, T.G. Shepard. Okay. And the, the, to get the, uh, the call to get the, uh, the show, they just saw my website on the Internet and hired me over the phone. I didn't even go for an audition. Right. Really? They hired me a month after I had the kidney uh -huh. done, and then they flew me down there two months later for a meet and greet. And then the following month, we were down there, and I did the show, and I stayed down there for a the month. It was in Nashville, Tennessee, where we shot the show. Wow. Cool. That's yeah. great news. Yeah, well, it's great. It's a special. whole new lease on life with totally. the transplants. Mm -hmm. and getting this opportunity to be on a TV show. Right, I can't wait for it to get started. And you have the Good opportunity feel. to be here and the opportunity to meet you and Absolutely. all the audiences. Yeah. Thank you very much for being on the so show. So let's, 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 let's show, the clip, let's the show the clip of the mm -hmm. show, show fast. We'll come back and say goodbye to uh, Joe. Let's check it out. Are you ready, boss? I'm ready. I'm ready here. Yeah. You feeling pretty good, huh? I feel absolutely great, Mick. Yes, I do. You think this might be a bad time to ask for a raise? I think it would be. Right before the show, yes. As a matter of fact, I told you many times before, Mick, the only raise you're going to get in anytime soon is if I put lifts in those shoes. You got everything for the show, I've right? Got everything, I've got everything I need, Mick. Believe Are you me. sure? I guess I'm sure. i got everything I need. You're upsetting me here. i got everything. Yeah, hello. Uh, what about this? Well, OK, so I, I forgot something. I forgot one thing. So you want to talk about that raise again? Oh. All right, Joe. That was great. Thank you. Thank you. Really cool. Well, listen, best of luck with everything. I want you to sit down with the rest of us for the, uh, the rest of the night and just hang out and listen to what everybody has to say. OK. All it was right? nice meeting you. And so I'll see you in the future Thank on you. the show. You will. All right. Yeah. All right.